a welcome to microcomputer applications and this is Yang Park we're gonna work on our microcomputer applications and business this semester and so again uh, my first name is Yang last name Park so people call me Park I mean uh, Dr. Park or Yang not like a Parks or Parker okay so hopefully you get uh, you get my name right and first thing you we need to do is just uh, check the syllabus so make sure you read the syllabus and if you have any questions you can always uh, let me know I have my online office hours 8 to 9 Wednesdays but we're going to use Collaborate Ultra which is a video conferencing tool that's in GoView that's our learning system so all you do is just click that Collaborate Ultra then click join a particular session then now uh, you need your webcam and then microphone then we go from there so it's pretty easy to use just like a uh, just like a other video conferencing uh, tool and uh, you also need those uh, webcam and uh, uh, those equipments to take Proctor U tests right so we have our three Proctor U testing three times so you're gonna need uh, you would need to schedule first of course schedule the test then uh, you log into Proctor U, then you go from there because they're gonna direct you where to go, what to do, and so forth. Uh, so all you do is just follow Proctor's uh, information, then uh, you should be fine. All right, so we're gonna pretty much focus on Excel. So if you have your office installed on your computer that's great if you don't that's fine too because you can always download Microsoft Office 365 that's uh, available for free on GSW website okay and it's a little different from Office 2019 or Office 2021 in terms of only in terms of layout in terms of user interface but not actual uh, items for example in the Excel okay so you don't have to worry about it all right so let's get on to the our Go view. This is the, what we call Go view, just like a, you know other learning management system, Blackboard, you know those things. But this is um, created by D2L company, so uh, you know we named it Go view. So anytime you hear Go view, but this is what we're talking about. So this is the front page, very first page you're gonna see for this course you see the announcement right so uh, you'll see the important information in terms of any new information available or video tutorials or any uh, notice that you need to be uh, aware of and proctor testing and things like that will be added into the announcement so make sure to check announcement very often okay then uh, you go to content to uh, start your modules so uh, organize material by module okay so module one for example of course you have a syllabus up there so you can check the syllabus from there but if you click module one then you have uh, some sections that are divided in this module in terms of introduction, pages, and what particular steps you need to do, and data file for uh, 
for the particular module. Then over here you have assignment, so I give you directions what to do. Then you have a quiz to take, and all you do is just click quiz. Then it will take you to the this side, then you will have the start button over here so that you can click and you can move on to the uh, quiz itself. One thing uh, you need to know is uh, you have two attempts. Okay, So even though you kind of missed a few, then you can try a second try so that you can improve your score. Right, so that's how each module is consists of. So what exactly is the assignment look like? So this is the direction, for example, assignment one. It says complete submit case problem one page EX one sixty two to EX one sixty three. So basically sixty two to sixty three. That's the page number. And you need to complete the direction written in particular pages. Okay, so also says always insert your name into the header of each document. So what does it mean? And basically says that you need to type your name in the header of the Excel sheets. Okay, for example. Let me I'll show you Excel. All right, so to insert your name into the header, a couple ways to do it. Uh, one way is just click page layout button at the bottom, page layout. Then it will give you this header section. And if you move down, there's a footer section so that you can insert your name. Okay. Or you can go to Insert tab. Then, uh, depending on depending on the, sc the screen size, because uh, I think some of you may have a very small screen size and you don't have wide uh, layout of your window, then you may not see it. But uh, it should be on this area. Okay. So again, insert in this area of text. There's a header and footer. So that you can insert header or move down to footer section by uh, click this toolbar. You can go back and forth, header and footer, and just type your name there. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how you're going to insert your name in the header. All right, so that's basically how you're going to start doing your assignment. Of course, uh, uh, there's data files are inserted, so you can download those data files right here. Okay, then let's say you are, you know, you're done with your Excel, then you save it, then you're ready to submit. Then all you do is just click Upload, so then you can now select whatever the Excel file you submit, then you click open, then, then there will be submit button, so you can click submit, then you'll have um, confirmation of the successful submission. And other menus, if you click assessment, you can go to each section individual, I mean directly assignment section you can go there right directly or grades so it'll give you all the grades and if you need to see for example feedback of a particular item for example assignment assignment one you need to see the feedback then you can 
see the feedback from this assignment section then you click particular number which is assignment one then it will give you feedback or well, since I didn't submit it I don't have feedback but you'll see your feedback there okay so that's how you're gonna check your grades and feedback quizzes you can you know, go directly to quizzes then proctor you so you can log into proctor your account directly so you can you can uh, schedule your time you can take the test but you need to log in first so that's how you're gonna go from here and communication discussion and there's a discussion board so that oh, you can complete your discussion assignment so it's like a discussion other discussion board then you click new thread and you move on to answering to the questions or, or prompt an email this is internal email so you cannot send out of the go view so it will only send to within so a little different from other email user interface because you need to show address because you well it's an email address is kind of long it's not simple so you need to click address book so that you can you can click the receiver I think I need to do it from here compose and address book then you click the person's name here we go my name click add well before you do that it's a little tricky at the top you need to click to it's a little thing so that your name will be assigned I mean the receiver's name will be assigned to the two box then you click add recipe so there's a little tricky part but that's how you're gonna do it all right then in terms of grades so the components of the grades are given just like that we'll have a three proctor u tests it's about 320 points and dates are already given and actually proctor u has the schedule so you can actually uh, call them and schedule those dates in advance so you get you know you get the slot you want because uh, uh, you know some dates are very tight probably hard to get the time you want uh, even worse you may not get any time time slot at all in some cases then you you want to be persistent okay as long as you just keep trying I think they're gonna open up new ones and so forth so I know it's hectic but you know uh, that's kind of worst worst scenario okay and final exam is not proctored it's unproctored so this combination of some uh, hands-on I think I don't think it's going to be multiple choices but it will be more of short hands-on in the nature and uh, assignment again that's from the textbook at the end of textbook you have a case problems and other problems that's the assignments and uh, discussions and short quizzes which is multiple choices in terms of late policy okay so, uh, we have three makeup dates what we call okay so you can use this three makeup dates at once or you can use it three different times 
doesn't matter which way, but you have extra time to make up the dates. Okay, so hopefully uh, you can uh, use it wisely. And uh, if you submit beyond this, uh, you know, three days, then there will be penalty of ten percent per uh, each day late. And no makeup for quizzes and exams unless you have some emergencies and you know accident. Hopefully there's no accidents, anything like that, but you never know. So uh, if you submit uh, documentations, official documentation for excuses, and hopefully we can uh, we can uh, uh, find accommodations. And technical system, we have emails, we have uh, chat, we have a phone number for technicians. If you have any problems with your uh, login or anything like that, so you can contact the support, Goldfish of support. And we also have a tutoring service available. Matter of fact, is on right here on the menu. There's a tutoring link. If you click that, then we have. I think this is based on the tutor.com, so that you can find the tutors for Excel. Okay, so hopefully uh, you can take advantage of it if you need one. And so, if you have any questions let me know this as well okay and uh, accessibility services in terms of ADA if you're qualified you need accommodations and contact office of accommodations and access at uh, this phone number so that we can uh, coordinate any uh, accommodations you need academic integrity that's another important policy and if there's any uh, cheatings and anything like that in a current occurrence with the university policy then uh, you'll get a zero for that particular item or assignment or, or exam if it happens again, then students will receive F in this course. And uh, notice that we are using Turnitin. It's an online, what we call plagiarism detection or prevention system. So whatever you submit to GoView will go through Turnitin screen so that Turnitin will basically uh, produce the report a percentage how much is kind of copy and paste from other sources basically. so higher the percentage is the worse so if you have any questions about academic integrity Turnitin let me know as well so the best thing you can do is just ask me questions. So rather than spending one hour, two hour yourself, let me know first so that I can help you with you. All right, so hopefully uh, you have a very uh, successful semester. And again, if you have any questions, let me know.